Good morning. <laughs> Today we're gonna carry the last rocks outside and start building some floor. Flora. Yeah. <laughs> We have all our batteries now, so Julian can use his battery-driven chainsaw. It's a lot less noisy. So over here we have the old uh, insulation from the floor. <laughs> this pile here, it's earth and coal. All of this. There was a hole here before. This is actually the old uh, dust, the old toilet was here back in the day. So there was some leftover uh, boards and it was, it was all smashed. <laughs> but now it's ready to build a new old house if you would like a dirt coal insulation in the floor. Which I do not recommend because the, the wood that was in the floor, holding the floorboards, was completely rotten because it's just been surrounded in in earth, which uh, attracts uh, moist. Uh, so it's yeah, not very good. Do you get my point? <laughs> Being here in the forest with no other purpose than to fix this cabin, it's pure relaxation for the mind. Sometimes I'm mindful about what I'm doing, listening to the surroundings, checking in with myself, making sure I breathe all the way down to my tummy and stretch my body. Sometimes I make a project like tearing down boards more entertaining by wandering off to places like Grevinge, a made-up factory village in the north of Sweden. Of course, I had to listen to this feel-good novel about a renovation project in Sweden. The first book I listened to by this author brought me off to the romantic countryside in Sweden. We were just in the city getting uh, some materials to build the floor and uh, it's, it's just a summer feeling, it's warm today. I just went and got some snacks for this afternoon. Julian right now is starting to build 
the, the, the bottom of the floor. <laughs> and I just, I, oh, I'm so happy. I was really tired from all of this. This is probably, hopefully, maybe the last day of working with the soil and uh, with the coal. I know that I am all dirty in my face and my hands are not any better. When we get home in the evening and get in the showers, just running black water down our bodies <laughs> because the coal is coloring. <sighs> Anyways, this is probably, hopefully, the last day working with the soil and the coal um, because we're building the floors. So done with the dirty, heavy work of that <laughs> and we can get moving on. Uh, to the next step. Yee! It makes me happy. On our way to the city, I got a nap in the car, so now I'm all fresh again. <laughs> a power nap in the middle of the day can do miracles. <laughs> now let's see how Julian's doing. Hey. How's it going? First one up. All right. I got us some alcohol-free drinks and lentil chips. Mm. Since the time I left you on the dark side with a promise and a rhyme And everybody else around are beating down on me To leave the only good thing I decided to meant to be Today is Monday, the day where the insulation is coming and uh, we have done everything that we could to prepare for it. Um, we of course could have done much more but we did everything that we could do in the time we were here. So now it's very exciting. It's a lot of insulation because it's for the whole house. So that is also a puzzle to be solved. How to transport it and where to store it. <laughs> The house looks completely different now that I'm taking the red, the last red um, wood down. We are waiting for the insulation to arrive. I'm really excited to see how much it is. <laughs> A lot.
first one? Yeah. Now this is actually kind of fun. It is enormous amounts of insulation. <laughs> and we uh, almost got it all now. There are still two um, left, two of the big ones. But um, yeah, so now it's all about uh, getting it into where they're supposed to be, where we're ready to do that. And then we're gonna have to figure out what we're gonna do with the rest. Because uh, tomorrow is our last day here. So yeah, this is actually I had started to get a bit nervous about this because I was starting to think what if it's really heavy? What if there's a lot? Which there is. <laughs> what if I can't lift it? Um, just like with the rafters, I had started to get nervous. And I don't know if I should share this, but it actually, I think it comes from that when I was uh, a child in school, I was not very good at sports and I really did not like physical activity. And when we were going on hikes with the class, I was always the one to walk behind with the teachers. <laughs> I was last in the line of, of children. Um, and it, it was all because I didn't believe that I could. I didn't believe that my body was able to move as fast as the other kids. And that story is so deep in me. And as an adult, I have experienced that my body is really strong. I can do stuff that I don't think that I can sometimes. I think that's why when I know that there's a big project coming up, coming up where I need to use my physical body, to solve the problem, I get a bit nervous because there's still a little part of me that doesn't believe that I can be good at physical activities. So every time I do, it's just like, yes, I'm strong, <laughs> I can do this. <laughs> It's wood fiber insulation, if you were wondering. Now Julian is figuring out how to put them into the ceiling. And it looks like he has found a way. Look at this. Now they can just sit there with just these two holding them together. <laughs> there are some holes in the floor. And we don't want mice to get from the outside and up into the insulation under our floor. So I'm gonna put this on here so they can't get up. The mosquitoes have found us. Not a very pleasant surprise, <laughs> but we got to close up here again, insulated, and uh, tomorrow we will be back to get a hold of the insulation and what we're gonna do about it. Today we made it this far. Now we're going to get the last ones, I think maybe three rides we need to go with the trailer to get the last insulation down by the road and then we're going home. 
to have dinner and watch Pirates of the Caribbean. <laughs> Hey, so today the goal is to use as much insulation as possible so that we can get this, well, out of the way, actually, because we're leaving tomorrow. So this is our last day. And we just had lunch and Julian figured that for the most insulation to be used, we have to put it up in the ceiling. That's where the most of it will be used. So today I worked on the floor in the living room and filled up most of the holes. <laughs> Bless you. <laughs> and now I'm going upstairs to help Julian in the bedroom. So let's see how he's doing. Hi, honey. Hi. Looking good. Remember how it started I was lost in a dream When the fire in my heart said An open rose I've already found some light The feeling grows. We haven't been filming that much today Both because we're a little bit pressed for time Because we're leaving tomorrow uh, morning but also because I don't really feel like there's that much new happening <laughs> today. It's just we're popping in insulation everywhere we can. Um, right now Julian has uh, started building the floor in the kitchen and a bathroom, I think. So yeah, maybe this will be a short day for you to watch. But for us, it's uh, <sighs> it's both enjoyable but also a bit, so many mixed feelings actually, because it's so wonderful looking out here behind the camera right now. It's just the, the green paradise growing up and um, it's impossible not to fantasize about walking bare feet around here, picking berries and having a picnic and just taking all of this in while still when we look this way behind me it's kind of a mess and <laughs> we're walking around in um, uh, what's it called uh, needles um, and screws <laughs> and luckily we have safety shoes on so nothing's happening but it's all kind of a mess <laughs> but we enjoy it and the process is just beautiful and seeing everything going forward is amazing so i'm excited to show you at the end of the day because i think there is a lot happening today right. let me just give you a quick tour before we start clearing up and closing down, I removed the red boards. Obviously, we're gonna put fresh boards up and paint them red again, of course, with white windows. <laughs> no worries. <laughs> um, and inside, oh, we are starting to have something that looks like a floor. I showed you earlier, but yeah, floor in here with the, almost all of the insulation and a ceiling with insulation. Obviously the ceiling is missing. When we enter the bathroom, we still step down into the dirt. Julian is so tired of that. So that's why he started building a floor in these two rooms. And also oh, we have so many projects going on right now. Everything's just 
at once because yeah, various reasons. It's we actually like focusing on one thing at a time, but but yeah, we just need to do everything at once it feels like. <laughs> so, the beginning of a wall that's coming up here again and we enter the kitchen and where there's a floor now or the form or floor. Actually, at some point we are going to have to get rid of that cute little oven, unfortunately. There was a subscriber that uh, recommended that we could use it outside. She was like, don't throw it away. <laughs> it's not allowed to use it because it's so damaged. But I don't know, maybe we'll keep it for something <laughs> because it's really cute. And we have the upstairs. love the trees that we have right outside the kitchen. These tall, enormous, uh, very uh, different kinds of trees. Amazing! And here you can see as well that I took the boards off. So now it's kind of just like a brown log cabin with a very black new roof. Uh, we got an email today saying that the, the roof tiles are on their way, which is very exciting. Yeah, so now it's time to, to clear up and get all of the insulation inside in the dry weather because there's coming a lot of rain up. I can't thank you enough for watching these videos. It is so much fun having you along on this journey. Um, if you share it with a friend or watch it with your partner and well it becomes this community and <laughs> I just I love that and feel free to leave a comment below saying hello maybe where you come from or why you're watching I know that there are many many people on YouTube sharing these kinds of videos m moving into the woods or renovating something and it's like it's very popular to watch those videos and I think we all have our reasons why someone does it because they're renovating something themselves. Someone's watching even if they're not renovating anything. <laughs> so I would love to hear why you are watching these kinds of videos. Yeah, so this, I think this is the last from us this time and we'll see you the next time. Bye bye.